What's going on everyone? Welcome to Robinson Motorsports. If you haven't already noticed, this is a two-stroke sitting in a four-stroke frame. Let's go check it out. So a couple months ago, I got a phone call or a text from my buddy saying that he was going to sell his YZ250 spare motor. And I, I had to jump on it because I've got the 125 Woods Ripper and 20, the 250 is the next level up. I've always wanted that motor since I knew he had it because not that I knew I can get it from cheap, just because I knew that it was a motor I could get, possibly. So we made a deal, I ended up picking the motor up and then... I decided to go ahead and try to put it into a four-stroke frame. I chose a 2012 um, 250F just because I kind of like that um, shark gill radiator shroud look. The shrouds are on the outside of the tank, so you don't have to worry about tank stickers fading and things like that. So I called up my buddy Jeremy Hadley at Hadley's Fab Weld I'm out in Marion. is about 20 minutes away from me. He rides in the A-Class, uh, I knew of him from the Enduro series, and I, I've actually talked to him a couple times, but he was the only one that I knew that was a fabricator and could basically understand what I was trying to do other than just taking it to a welding shop and having a guy weld aluminum. So I took it there, and this is pretty much what we came up with. Now the big elephant in the room is how the hell do you get the two-stroke pipe to fit in this Y or the yoke here because it's a lot further down the four-stroke pipe comes out of the side of the engine over here so what do you do do you cut it move it up or do you trim it out and pretty much reinforce it I talked to this guy Brandon Kentner sorry if I pronounced your name wrong but uh he pointed out the fact that he actually cut the Y on two different frames and moved them up and both frames cracked because the casting and the aluminum that it was welding with and things like that. So he said the best way to do it is to trim as much of that yoke as you can out and reinforce it. Already knowing that the swing arm fits in, like the motor fits between the swing arm damn near perfectly like it was made for it. The next mount that they had to tackle, or we had to tackle, was this bottom mount. So we ended up cutting it and moving it forward just a little bit. But to get the height of that, we had to pretty much figure out where everything was level and where it wouldn't hit. Over here, they had to trim the frame just a little bit to get the case to clear. And the pipe to exit perfectly up here. With the motor sitting where we want it now as level as we can possibly get it no interference they pretty much took a hole saw and drilled a huge hole right here eliminating all of the webbing that's in there from the main frame or the casting here with doing that they had to put a piece of quarter inch plate to reinforce it here and two pieces of quarter inch plate on the sides of it and reinforce it as much as they possibly can the result is basically the perfect hole for the exhaust to fit through I can get one of the springs on the other springs kind of block so I might have to move one of the hangers on the pipe itself and then um, the mount over here for the skid plate actually works perfect for that lower mount on the uh, exhaust pipe or the expansion chamber there. you can see right here all of that webbing is gone there's still a little bit of it on the inside right here but all of it's gone up top and here's the quarter inch plate here that's welded in and that front Y plate right here is welded on. Beautiful welds. The mounts here were made up by them. The top mount was made up by them. They did an awesome job on this. These mounts are aluminum. Um, Brandon said that you should probably go steel with them. Uh, we're going to try these. If they break, we're going to go steel later on. But... All in all, the fit of this thing and the looks are are killer. I'm super happy with it. 
Uh, if you have a chance, I don't know if Jeremy will let you send stuff to him to weld up, but he does a great job. Turnaround time, I'd say. I, I gave, I told him I'd, it was going to be a project over the winter, and he turned it around to me in maybe two and a half weeks. So I'm super happy about that. So yeah, I'm super happy with how this turned out. Um, I got a couple other things that I got to do on it. I got to get hardware for things. The bolt down here, I believe, is going to be a good length for the mount up here because of the width of the frame and that yoke up here. Uh, I got to find a bolt for the top here. Hopefully I can measure it and get a decent Yamaha one because I want to keep somewhat of OEM with this whole thing. Uh, I bought a subframe and an airbox. Those two are coming. I hear that there's a little bit of a... I got to make up like a little bit of a tube to go between the carb and the intake boot or the air cleaner or the air filter boot. Between there, there might be an inch or two missing. So I got to figure that out yet. And then um, I got radiators coming. Make sure that I'm clearing the pipe and everything else. I'm just going to put YZ250 radiators. Um, GPI, I think. The Chinese uh, aftermarket ones are like 100 bucks for the super heavy duty. Put those on. Uh, I bought a CDI box. I found one in the kid. Didn't know what year it was for or anything else. Found the part number on it and it turned out to be an 07, which this motor's an 07. I got it for 44 bucks, so I'm happy about that. That's that's huge there. You gotta get the wiring harness still, a coil for it. Um, radiator hoses and stuff like that should line up pretty good. I mean, it's you have a tube here and a tube here going up. It's, it's not that difficult. And a lot of the aftermarket um, radiator hoses come a little bit long and you have to trim them so that's going to work out to my advantage i i have a set of got a rear shock off of an 07 yz250f um the length of these between the two strokes and four strokes is a little bit different so i wanted to keep with the four stroke suspension itself I bought this and a set of triple S forks for also an 07. The guy was actually doing a, um, it was the earlier model of this, the 250F's conversion, but his buddy bailed on him and he was starting to sell parts. So I was able to scoop this and the forks up for pretty cheap. I paid 450 for them to the door. They both need rebuilds, which is fine because I'm going to revalve them to an X. So subscribe to the channel. That's going to be a fun, cool thing. I'm going to go through shim stacks on the shock and both of the forks to revalve them to an X. I have a buddy out in Syracuse that does a lot of suspension work and he's gonna give me a couple pointers and a couple inside tricks on how to, sh how to move the stacks around just a little bit to make them a little bit better than an X. So that's gonna be cool. That, stick around for that one. Definitely subscribe to this channel for that. Um, what else do I have? I gotta get a set of triples for it yet. I, don't, I haven't ordered those. Uh, wheel set, brake system, and then from there it's seat and plastics. And I should be done. I don't think I'm forgetting anything there. The motor needs a full rebuild. Uh, it's seized completely. The I can get the cylinder or the cylinder head off and the cylinder off, but the crank is seized in it, which is fine because I have a spare crank and the yellow boxes over there that came with the motor itself. So happy about that. I have a. Uh, WR first and second gear that I will be putting in this so that's another thing you should subscribe for because that's gonna be another episode that's gonna be a cool thing I'm gonna mess with the transmission and hopefully not fuck it up too bad I um, think that's it I'm gonna send the head out to apex to get it have a mill a little bit different bell curve on it uh, fix the squish and the cylinder is gonna go out to Millennium to get replated and we're just gonna keep whittling away at this. So if you like what you see, if you like talking about motorcycles, racing motorcycles and riding them, subscribe to this channel and I will see everyone on the next one.